Hello, Jessica here from All the Sparkle, and I have a special interactive card for you today. Ruby is one of my closest crafty friends, and she has recently started a guest designer series on her blog called Guesting with Ruby Naz. I am super honored and excited to be one of her first official guests. She asked me to show off my own personal crafting style, and while I immediately thought of a shaker card, I decided to push myself in a different direction, so I've created a light up card using Chibitronics LED stickers. I was channel surfing a few days ago and caught the end of Tangled with the Lantern Festival. I had the crazy idea to try and recreate that scene in a card. I'm featuring a simple circuit as well as my first attempts at a blinking slide switch in my design. So let's get started. First I stamped the lanterns from Mama Elephant's Lunar Extras onto a piece of watercolor paper. I vary the direction and angle of each lantern to try and show the movement that might be created by the wind. Next, I'll use my scan and cut to cut out the lanterns with a small border that will mimic the glow of the lantern. Next, I lay a piece of white cardstock behind my lanterns and trace the shape of each lantern. I will be creating my circuits on the white cardstock, and this allows me to see exactly where to place my LED stickers. Now it's time to paint my background. I wanted to use soft washes of distress ink to create a night sky. In the movie the sky is quite dark, so I decided to take my inspiration from the color palette of that scene instead. Light shades of purples and blues with the warm yellow glow of the lanterns. So first I mask off what will become the water in my scene, and then I lay down a layer of chipped sapphire at the bottom of the skyline. Next I blend in seedless preserves and black soot at the top. I use lots of water and really allow the colors to blend. While the paper is still wet, I drop in mustard seed distress ink around the lantern holes to create a soft halo. Unfortunately, I used way too much water for the first lantern, but I blotted up most of it with a paper towel and was able to disguise the rest of it later with my sentiment. I dry it with my heat gun and then mask off the top so I can work on the water. I paint the water with a mix of stormy sky and chipped sapphire. I remove the mask and add a layer of water to blend the edges together. Once my watercolor panel is dry, I trim it down to an A2 card base. I take a piece of vellum and color it with a Y13 Copic marker. This will match the mustard seed distress ink and give that glowing lantern effect behind the light. I line it up with the lanterns to make sure I have enough area colored, and then color a little bit more around the edges. Next, I tape the vellum down to the back of my watercolor panel, and then tape a piece of plain copy paper on top of that. I don't want the actual light sticker to be visible through the vellum, so the copy paper creates a soft diffuser that still allows the light to shine through. Next, I stamp my lanterns onto the vellum with Ranger Archival Black Ink. Giving myself that tiny border with the scan and cut also gives me a little room for error when lining up my stamps. And it's circuit time! Using the outlines of the lanterns I drew earlier, I sketch my circuits. On the top, I create a simple circuit where the battery, when engaged, will light the three lanterns. The copper foil tape will connect to the positive and negative sides of the battery and the positive and negative sides of each LED sticker. I use the plastic template to mark exactly where I want my Chibitronic stickers. On the bottom, I have a blinking slide switch, which means that when the battery is engaged, I will have to press and slide my finger across the bottom of the card to light the remaining six lights. I can press and hold my fingers down to light each sticker, or I can slide my finger across to get a twinkling effect, 
which I thought was perfect for my lanterns. You can see that I've sketched lines from the bottom of each LED sticker, but they don't connect to my battery unless I fold the bottom of the card over and press down. I lay down all of my copper tape, taking care to use only one strip of tape per line. To go around corners, I fold the tape back on itself and then fold it forward to create a 90 degree angle. Once all the copper tape is down, I adhere my LED stickers making sure to line up the positive and negative sides of the stickers with the correct positive and negative sides of the battery. Next I adhere the battery using a little adhesive from my ATG gun. I am careful to not tape over the copper foil tape, but apply it around the tape instead. You'll also notice that my circuit panel is adhered to a larger piece of white cardstock. I lined up my lanterns over the outlines and then adhered it to an A2 base so that it wouldn't require any trimming at the end. I also added a scored strip at the bottom so that I could create my sliding switch. Next I lay down a double layer of foam tape all over my circuit panel. Originally I was thinking I could use a single layer, but quickly changed my mind and did a double. I remove all of the adhesive backing and then adhere my watercolor panel over the circuits. I stamp my sentiment on a piece of black cardstock and heat emboss it with super fine white embossing powder. I trim the sentiment down to a flag and adhere it over that tiny distress ink mistake. Finally, I add a sprinkling of sparkling clear sequins with glossy accents. And that's my card. I think it looks like a twinkling sea of lanterns. What do you think? You can find links to my blog and all of the products I used in the YouTube description below. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up and click the YouTube button to subscribe so you won't miss any of my future videos. Thanks again to my dear friend Ruby for inviting me to guest on her blog, and many thanks to you all for watching. Have a wonderful day.